I was already primed and prepped to feel sympathy for Cindy. So I confess their story seemed believable. And you can sit in judgment of me. You weren't there on that phone call. You were not in my shoes and you can't really appreciate how and why I was influenced by the things they said. They both have this innate and quite effective way of drawing you in, eliciting sympathy and empathy for them, and their tone and explanations seem to make so much sense. But like Alice through the looking glass, nothing is as it seems. It is an illusion by design. Now off they sent me to fight their battles online. Now over time, the tarnishing spread to Shanann's family, as you should be seeing on the screen. Cindy has a lot to say about them. But Chris's FBI confession was a game changer. And I can tell you it was relayed to me that it was a game changer for the Watts as well. It was certainly relayed to me that they believed him and that they were sickened and disgusted by all that he had confessed to. But these things that you're seeing on the screen were after that. Now, my channel broke the news of the confession, and the shock of it catapulted Watts Island into a whole new dimension of craziness and some of the most bizarre behavior I have seen in my life. Once again, I felt like I had stepped into an alternate universe where nothing made sense and nothing is as it seemed. Little did I know, I would soon find myself outside of the Watts agenda. For all their high praise of this altruist, altruistic agenda of my own, my agenda no longer weaved nicely with their own agenda. I was confounded. I was confused that they would distance from me just as I was on the cusp of helping so many people. Think of all the people we can impact. Think of all the hearts and minds we can change, I was saying. This is the drum I was beating, but they didn't want to hear it. I was once told to basically, quote, learn my place. You know, Mel at one time supported me so staunchly she sent me a bracelet, and you can see it. It says, keep effing going. But within a matter of weeks of being sent that bracelet, I was not only ousted, I was being openly mocked and maligned in their new cliques and groups they had formed with their new parrots and puppets. Suddenly, Kay was the bad guy, and to this day, I'm still confused. Why? Did I not help you tell the world Chris killed them all? Did I not do my best to fight off all your enemies? Did I not do my best to ease the blowback from the YouTube and Facebook peasants that were against the Watts before and after the second confession? Mel went from supporting me, sending me jewelry, to openly maligning me within the space of only a couple months. Now I'm going to play some voice clips from Loose Lips. 
that will give you a deeper understanding of what the real agenda continues to be. I meant to say that so many people believe that there's no way she could have she could have killed them. Um, however, I think there's just enough missing from the discovery that you can tell there are some some serious gaps there. There are some things there that um, that like it, that really could just change people's minds. It just a few small details altered with the story that the DA gave, and it really could shift a lot of people um, to camp. Chris Watts. <laughs> Camp Chris Watts. Really? Just a few small details altered that could change. So, what does that mean? Lies? Telling some lies? Christina, there was no way in hell that she was about to let Nicole Kessinger play mommy to those girls. It was not going to happen. And that's honestly, aside from she was not about to let her husband move on, she was not, she was not, on. She was not about to let those girls go and, and spend weekends away with with Chris and Nicole, it wasn't going to happen. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, that's, that's the, I mean, I would have a hard time with that. I really would. I am irrational. I won't lie. I have to say, <clears throat> what's funny to me though, is that the disposal of the bodies is the thing that, that gets most people. And that's always been the thing that, uh, it, for some reason, that's not what, convinces me of his of his guilt um because at that point he was thinking irrationally I believe he was in shock I believe like he was in survival mode and it's really hard to tell what people will do when they're in survival mode and um I mean if if we're talking about he he had like maybe some PTSD from you know some of the situations um dealing with his, his home life in the past. I mean, I, I don't see how that is so far out of the realm of possibility um, for him to dispose the bodies in that way and trigger something um, for other people. I just feel like, and I know it's been said a million times that, you know, she didn't like the fact that she was losing control of him, but I mean, this was a woman who was able to convince her husband to abandon his entire family and to the extent that they moved across the country to get away from them because I, I don't believe they flew out there, fell in love with the area. I believe that she was putting some separation in between him and his family. So I just don't, I don't, I don't see um, that it's such a, an off possibility that, sh that Shanann did this. And so many people are like firmly believe he couldn't have done it, but it, it's always been pretty obvious to me. I think it absolutely could have gone down like that. And I just, I, I think like she was so, she was just so done. She wasn't going to go on without him. Like I, I just don't, I don't see her being the type that like hangs her head up high and just, you know, carries on. I mean, she's, I think when she bottoms out, she bottoms out. And I think we see that like, you know, throughout her history and, and just, I mean, some of the things that she's done in her life. I think when she goes out, she goes big. It drives me up a wall that it just seems like there's nothing in the discovery pertaining to Nicole Adkinson or Sandy, aside from Sandy's six-page just crap she wrote. And 
I think that's like where a lot of the truth is going to lie if like that ever got released. Christina, I noticed that as well. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the best interviews to listen to, in my opinion, is Frank's interview just because, I mean, if I was listening to his interview alone, I would think we were talking about an innocent man. Um, you know, even if I was fully convinced that, that Chris did it, I would be like, yeah, that's that's an innocent guy. Um, so, yeah, agreed. And can we please get somebody from just a North Carolinian to come in and um, just do a little decoding on on Ronnie's interview? Because, I mean, that was probably some of the worst translating I've ever seen in my life. Let's hear the worst one again. I meant to say that so many people believe that there's no way she could have she could have killed them. Um However, I think there's just enough missing from the discovery that you can tell there are some, some serious gaps there. There are some things there that, um, that, like, it, that really could just change people's minds. It just a few small details altered with the story that the DA gave, and it really could shift a lot of people um, to camp Chris Watts. <laughs> camp Chris Watts. Giggle. <laughs> the real agenda continues to be with Cindy Watts and her crew of vipers. Yes, I said it. And why she just can't seem to stop herself. And why she will, in my opinion, continue to dig her own hole deeper and deeper until she becomes the most hated woman on the internet. to you knock it off retreat see a counselor get professional help Mel is not a professional Jennifer certainly is not a professional none of these girls can help you what they are doing is is only going to make the backlash against you that much worse and that much more painful. This is not you, Cindy. This is not you, Jamie. Stop what you are attempting to do on social media through all of these various people. Who, who don't really know who you are either and don't really care. Do you really think Jennifer cares to help you find peace? To help you reconcile with what Chris did? Reconcile with Shanann's family? Really? Unplug. Recenter. Find out who the hell you are. Because what you are engaging in will have serious repercussions and will do damage to your family that will likely last your lifetimes and your children's lifetimes. It's time to go away. Just go away and grieve and heal. We've all seen this picture. Is it real? Is this really who you are? Because this picture of you all flies in the face of what you're doing and who you're consorting with. I have claimed that Mel is driving the ship, but I don't believe that anymore. I now believe it's Cindy. It's always been Cindy. It will continue to be Cindy. And they're going to continue to circle the drain. And become some of the most hated people on the internet. And if you continue, it will only get worse. Now let's admit it. The majority of us who fell down the rabbit hole of this case can recognize how insane it is. How crazy it is. 
how crazy many of us have become over this case. The fighting and the battling and the ugliness is truly beneath all of us. And it's gotten so out of control at this point, hardly anyone can see through the looking glass back in time before August 2018, before this case came bounding onto the social media stage. I'm going to read another quote from Alice in Wonderland. But I don't want to go among the mad people, said Alice. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. <laughs> 